Hello friends today i will read a chapter from the science book please read with me and sorry for any mistake so let's get started so friends the chapter's name is the sun moon and stars if you look at the sky on a clear night you can see the moon and many twinkling stars stars appear too small because they are very far from us some stars are very bright and some are dim The sun is also a star that can be seen at the day time. Let us study about the sun, the moon and the stars. Lesson objective. You will know the sun, the moon, the stars, astronauts. The moon and stars in the sky at night. The sun. We see the sun at day time. It gives heat and light. It also gives energy to all plants and animals. Life is impossible without the sun. The sun is a big star. It is the nearest star to the earth. It is millions times bigger than the earth. The the sun is a big ball of fire. It is made of many hot gases. There are 8 planets that move around the sun. Our earth is one of them. All planets revolve around the sun in a fixed path called orbit. The sun and 8 planets are the members of the solar system. The 8 planets according to their distance from the sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Earlier there were 9 planets in the solar system. The ninth planet Pluto which was earlier considered as a normal planet has now been considered a dwarf planet. The moon. The moon is our nearest neighbor in the space as the earth moves around the sun. The moon moves around the earth so it is the natural satellite of the earth it is about 3,84,400 kilometers away from the earth it takes 29.5 days to to revolve around the earth the moon has no light of its own it looks bright due to the reflection of the light that it gets from the sun the moon is much smaller than the earth it has no water and air so there is no life on the moon the surface of the moon is not plain it has many holes called craters only a part of the moon is lighted by the sun that we see at night the moon appears to change its shape The changing shapes of the moon are called faces of the moon. Sun sunlight moon reflected sunlight earth moon reflects the sunlight. The faces of the moon depend on its position with respect to the sun and earth. When the illuminate illuminated side of the moon is pointed away from the earth we cannot see the moon it is called new moon then a thin arc called crescent appears the moon keeps on bulging and becomes a half moon then again it bulks to be Gobius and then becomes full moon after this the cycle reverses day 1 new moon crescent day 7 half moon gobius gobius day 14 full moon gobius day 21 half moon crescent day 28 new moon faces of the moon the stars you might have seen the twinkling stars at night stars are huge 
heavenly bodies made up of hot gases these are fixed at one place having their own heat and light they appear too small because they are very very far from us some groups of stars fo form particular patterns in the sky these are called constellations some constellations are ursa major great bear scorpius scorpion orionian hunter and leo lion there are about 88 constel constellation leo great bear scorpion hunter astronauts moon has always attracted people of the earth they always wish to travel there people who travel into space called astronauts the first men who landed on the moon were neil armstrong and edwin aldrin they landed on 20th july 1969 in apollo 11 spacecraft squadron leader rakesh sharma became india's first man in space he was the first in he was the first indian cosmonaut kalpana chola was another person of indian origin who wish who visited the space sunita velams of indian des 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 stayed longest in the space neil armstrong rakesh sharma kalpana chola sunita velams indian astronomers the sci the scientific study of stars or other heavenly bodies is called astronomy the people who study about stars or heavenly bodies are called astronomers about 1500 years ago an indian astronomer aryabhata studied at and taught astronomy at and mathematics he was the first man to tell us that earth is round and that is that it rotates on its own axis varahmira varahmira was another astronomer who wrote many books on astronomy another astronomer bhaskara dis discovered a method of finding out the movement of planets thus india contributed butted greatly in the field of astronomy aryabhata words to remember planets heavenly bodies that move around the sun orbit the fixed path along which a planet moves around the sun solar system the family of the sun and eight planets and their satellites satellite a heavenly or artificial body that moves round the earth or any other planet a group of stars ne collection constellation a group of stars that forms a particular pattern astronauts people who travel to space cosmonaut russian astronaut astronomy the the 
the scientific study of heavenly bodies quick recall sun moon stars the sun is a big star it is nearest to the earth and gives us heat and light it is made of many hot gases the sun and eight planets revolving around it make the solar system moon is the natural satellite of the earth it revolves around the earth moon has no air or water so life does not exist on moon moon ha moon has no light of its own it only reflects the light of the sun stars are heavenly bodies that are fixed and have their own heat and light stars for, from form patterns in the sky called constellations people who travel into space are called astronauts astronomers are people who study about the heavenly bodies aryabhata varamira varamira and bhas bhaskara are some famous ancient indian astronomers so friends i hope you like the video subscribe our channel and till then goodbye